Hey, my beautiful lost souls, new POV. How y'all liking the view? Period. And today's video is not going to be a celebrity tarot reading. I just want to say a quick disclaimer, a little quick check in with, you know, the people that care. Um, y'all, them tarot readings be draining the fuck out of me. Like, I cannot be doing them tarot readings like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I'm messy too. I'm messy too. I want to know the tea, but no shade. Celebrities do be boring and. It's very energy draining. And you know why it's energy draining? Many people may not share the same sentiment as me, but it's energy draining because at the end of the day, I'm not using just tarot cards, y'all. I am literally stepping into somebody else's energy, right? I'm not a, what, what did Ice Spice say? I'm not a regular artist. Like, I'm not a regular tarot reader. I'm actually stepping into these people's energy and no shade. A lot of these celebrities energies are exhausting to be in, not just literally exhausting. Like they be tired of shit, but it's just a whole bunch of drama, a whole bunch of emotions. What the? Sorry, y'all. That's my dog chase. Anyways. Yeah. Like it's just so. Yo. Anyways. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm just taking a quick little break because there is other things I want to talk about, y'all. I just want to make it very clear this is not a tarot reading channel. This is my channel, okay? My name is Soraya. Hi, if you don't know me, my name is Soraya. Um, that's not the name of my YouTube channel because I don't want people in my real life to find it. <laughs> to know that I had this because I talking shit. But anyway, <laughs> I do tarot readings on the side. They are $5.50 now. Yes, y'all, I know, I know. I'm faking shit. I added tax. But y'all, I got to eat too, okay? Inflation is inflation is rising. Yo, girl, I'm hungry too. Like, shit, I got to eat too. Like, damn, y'all greedy. Like, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, $5 tarot readings. I also have a Discord. So if you would rather talk to me one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting, link down in the description below. Um, let's get into it. So as you can see, Kai Sanai and, um, what the fuck is his name? I did not just go search their name up, but... Kai Shana and Aisho Speed were out there popping their bussies, fighting and shit. If you could even consider that a fight, like, first of all, first of all, they wasn't even fighting for real. Like, really, it just looked like they was pushing each other. Like, you know what that reminds me of? Like, when your two younger brothers get into an argument and they just start fighting. Like, I've seen that type of fight before. It's not even a fight. They was just pushing each other child and they've been doing this for the past day so basically kai Sana and i show speed i don't know too much because i don't follow them i don't i don't subscribe to that bullshit but they've been doing like this 24 hour multiple hours bitch i don't even know 72 hour live challenge where they live stream the entire day and night which is crazy which is crazy and yeah they was doing this game challenge and basically they are in a space together they are kind of like temporarily like staying together live together to for this collaboration and it's been a lot going on so first they was taking a shower together which i'm gonna talk about humiliation ritual basically let me get to the point so this is all a humiliation ritual right they was taking a shower together right they wasn't butt booty naked but two grown-ass men in the shower that are not dating hey i and then now they were like fighting each other. And I've been seeing like little clips of like I show speed going crazy, which pause real quick. I don't like none of these guys. Let me just say that. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about none of their, them incel ass fans. Like literally a lot of their fans are incels or just people with low IQs. Literally, the, like I show speed and Kai Sinat subscribe to these really harmful, almost violent type of styles. Like I show speed was literally hitting Kai Sinat, throwing him around. Even before this was like way before the fight when he was just celebrating something. I guess they hit a certain amount of views and he was celebrating and he literally threw Kai Sinat on the ground, screaming and shit. And then you got Kai Sinat. And like I said, Kai Sinat may not be just as bad as I show speed that it... <laughs> Listen, two wrongs don't make a right, okay? He might be the lesser evil, but it's still evil. And I'm not calling him evil verbatim, but you get what I'm trying to say. He's not as good either, right? These guys have done some really problematic things in the past. First of all, I show speed called this Korean girl that was a part of a Korean girl group, um, a K-pop group called New Jeans. He called her, I think she was like 15, 16 at the time. Mind you, he's grown. He's 19, 20. He called her cute and sexy in a music video. So yes, he referred to a minor as cute and sexy. Um, He's been doing problematic shit, making homophobic jokes, um, taking advantage of girls, all that. He's, a, he's not a good person. And then we got Kai Sinat who defended a R-word, a grapist, um, he defended his great friend 
by and guess what his rebuttal was guess guess what he used to defend his rapist friend y'all he said oh i just don't believe he would do something like that i've known him since high school what does that have to do with great and how do you like uh sagittarius men are so dumb like girl what anyways no shade to sagittarius i'm talking about sagittarius men like what like how does that defend oh i knew them forever let me tell you something. You could know somebody for your entire life. You still don't know the real them. Nobody will ever know the true you. Only you know the real you. Only you can know what you're thinking. Period. But this whole saga is... It's its a humiliation ritual, you guys. And I'm going to explain to you why, right? It's a lot to get into. Like, you would really have to do your research and do a deep dive. But this vibe it just gives the vibe that they're competing for something like it gives the two slaves it's giving two slaves that are fighting for their massa like yes massa like slave one and slave two start fighting each other yes a massa and they just start beating each other ass while the slave master decide like which one he gonna whip next like you know what i mean it's giving y'all competing for that illuminati spot that illuminati membership and it's humiliating right now, I know y'all thinking, what's a humiliation ritual? Let me break it down for you. A humiliation ritual is a ritual used when you are indicting somebody into a cult, okay? A cult, cultic, anything means secluded. It means secretive, um, very selective, limited access, right? A limited access group, right? So in order to get indicted, indicted into a cult, you must go through a humiliation ritual. You see this called hazing for um, Greek for a lot of Greek, um, what do you call it again? Greek groups, Greek groups in college, um, which is why I never joined a sorority. Yeah, sororities, um, stuff like that. It is basically a period where you are humiliated. Basically, you are your vibration is lowered, and it is almost going through. It's almost like going through a mini ego death, right? The purpose of a humiliation ritual is to lower your vibration and to let go of that ego, to let go of your pride, so you are willing to do anything. So you are now under the control of that group, right? So this is also done with military, right? Y'all know I was about to join the military or whatever. This is also done in the military, hazing, humiliating, right? You are, it is a situation where you have lost control. You have lost complete and full control of your image, right? Something us humans really care about. You lose complete control of your image and once you lose that control once you are humiliated your vibration is lowered to the i mean and they be humiliating the fuck out of these celebrities then it then confirms for that group or for those people those elites it confirms to them that you are now willing to do anything because it's like fuck it you have lost all your pride all your sense of esteem all of that is out the way right for example let me give you all an example say i'm walking out in public right no, say I'm the school bully, right? I'm always used to bullying people. I'm like pushing people in a locker. I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm better than people. I'm talking down on people. Da 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 da, right? And then one day I walk into school and I shit on myself in class. Now everybody's laughing at me. From that day on, you think I'm gonna still continue to bully people and think I'm better? No, because that vibration is lowered. I went through a mini ego death. My ego, the ego is the thing that protects our consciousness. It's the one that makes us act out make um very selfish decisions very immature decisions that ego is gone now my vibration is lower now i'm more conscious i'm more i can't explain it but basically i never bully anybody again that's kind of like what it is and these two grown-ass men are going through him and it's very clear like you truly have to go through man i really wanted to make this video and like decide what i was talking about but it's so deep like you have to you have to do the research y'all um once you go through this ritual you're basically indicted into whatever and it's it's clear like they, they are pawns in a game you think they're doing this shit willingly like do you think kai Sanat and speed are willingly taking showers together fighting and shit i mean who knows maybe they really like each other because no shade. The internet was saying it's giving, they said it's giving sexual tension. And who am I to assume anybody's, you know, sexuality, right? But what y'all think, let me know. Anyway, it's clear, like, literally, this entire collab has been a humiliation ritual. I mean, Kai Sanat, he's already been going through a lot, but he's been humiliated to the fullest extent. 
Like, you just let this boy, mind you, Speed, I'm pretty sure is younger than Sanat, than Kai. You just let this guy that's younger than you whoop your ass. Yeah. Um, anyways, I have nothing else to say other than this is a whole humiliation ritual, you guys. This is meant to get them indicted into the secret society so that they can then... I mean, they basically already sold them souls. Like, a, a lot... And let me say this right now. A lot of celebrities, majority of them, have sold their souls. The reality to a lot of celebrities and the industry as a whole is that they got to where they got... They got to where they are at by stepping over other people. A lot of celebrities... And that's newsflash. Okay? A lot of celebrities are in the same predicament. They are on the same boat. They will do whatever it takes. That's why you see some celebrities always constantly hang around other people that have horrible politics, that have done some problematic things in the past, right? Like, for example, no shade. Um, Rihanna got with ASAP Rocky, right? And people told her, like, look, girl, ASAP Rocky's not the one. He made comments, colorist comments, derogatory colorist comments a long time ago saying that dark-skinned women should not wear red lipstick. Now look, now he's hanging out. Now he he done got her pregnant. She had two kids by him, no ring. And now he's in New York dancing with this, um, dancing with this Hispanic girl that's twerking. This artist, um, I don't really know too much about her, but dancing with this Hispanic girl and she twerking and they in a song together talking about some don't spit it out, don't spit it out. <laughs> like, <laughs> girl. Like, I don't know. That's that's what I call karma. I love karma. Mm, tastes sweet. Anyways, yeah, it's a whole human. I mean, look, y'all, think about it. This entire collaboration, they have both been degraded, especially Kai and I, but they have both been degrading themselves. The truth is, y'all, and I'm using my psychic abilities to give this message. Kai and I and Aisha Speed are puppets. A lot of celebrities are. And I know you're thinking, puppets for what? They are puppets... A lot of celebrities are puppets to lower our vibration, right? And I know y'all like, why? why? Why do we have to lower our vibration? Like, what's the purpose of that? Let me explain to you. We as humans are very powerful, more powerful than we own know. And that's our own, that's our flaw. We don't realize our true power. The reason why us humans are so powerful is because we generate our own energy. We are not parasitic, you know, entities. We generate our own energy. We create our own feelings and feelings and emotions is very powerful, right? Um, when it comes to our connection to divine source, what people may call God, right? Which I'm about to get on that. When it comes to our connection to the divine, we have a direct link. That is what that's what your sixth sense is about. Your sixth sense is divine source communicating to you. That gut instinct that tells you, hmm, something about this situation isn't right. That gut instinct that tells you, hmm, I think my man is cheating on me. That gut instinct that tells you, hmm, I think my friend is fake as fuck. Why do I feel like she talks shit behind my back? And come out and come to find out everything that you thought is right. That is the divine communicating with you. We have a direct link and we are more powerful than we will ever know which is a good and bad thing. And these darker, negative, evil entities, they take advantage of that, right? And they lower our vibration with this horrible form of media, right? Violence, um, sexual, sexually explicit content, um, very much low vibrational stuff. Like, Think about the music that's trending nowadays, y'all. Always talking about coochie popping, bussy popping, getting money, getting to the bag, shooting and killing and fighting. It's low vibrational. That is not something that is going to elevate you and connect you to your higher conscience. No. That stuff keeps you at a low vibration, which is why I had cle I completely clear out my entire playlist, y'all. And a lot of people, look, you don't have to agree with me. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to. You don't have to get what I'm saying. Because a lot of people are comfortable and a lot of people don't want to get uncomfortable, right? The The biggest part to change is realizing that something's wrong and then you have to change. A lot of people don't want to change. Change is scary. Change takes a lot of work, okay? You know that saying, um, it's hard to teach an old dog new habits? A lot of people don't want to change, so they want to stay comfortable and they want to pretend like what's going on is what really is not going on. But I'm here to tell you it's going on. If you ever thought, hmm, why do these celebrities keep doing this embarrassing shit? Why did Doja Cat shave her head? 
online? Why why is Doja Cat walking around on stage naked as shit on tour? Why is Ice Spice constantly showing her ass? Why did Ice Spice dress up as Betty Boo and damn near showed her actual coochie? Why did um why did JT from the City Girls have a coochie flash on BT? Yes, y'all. She actually flashed. I, I saw it, unfortunately. She flashed her coochie on a BET Awards, right? Why? Why do all these things keep happening? Why is Kai Sana and Speed popping a bussy in the shower together? Why do you think they're doing that? Not only is it to keep them in check, to teach them that they do not have control. When you are in a situation that is embarrassing, you have no control in, of your narrative, of, of the image. It's that that inner and outer locus of control. You are you are taught you have outer locus of control. Therefore, you begin to rely on somebody else who has control. Oh, wake up, y'all. Wake up, y'all. So we as humans, we are very powerful. And they want to continue feeding us this bullshit because when you are at a lower vibration, you are easier to control. Think about if we were all elevated in higher vibration and we knew what we what we know. Like, I don't know, if we knew. I don't know. How do I explain it? Basically, if we were, if we all carried wisdom, right? Think about it. We would be much harder to control. We would not be sick. Of, we would not be sitting for this bullshit. A lot of us, we'd probably start a riot and overrule the government. Like, no shade. But they want to keep us in check. Have y'all ever thought what happened, what would happen if we don't vote for president, if everybody consecutively, consecutively decided that we were not going to have a president? What would they do? Would they force a president on us? What do y'all think would happen? That's all I'm trying to say, y'all. Like, do not feed into this form of media. I really, and look, do whatever you want to do. Because last time I tried to advise people, they was like, oh, girl, I could do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, do whatever the fuck you want. But I'd rather y'all know. I would rather inform you guys. And then if you continue to still watch the same thing, feed into the same bullshit, then that is then on you. Okay? The thing about spirituality is that a lot of these evils can't come in unless you give it permission and access to. You know, when they tell stories about ghosts in the house and usually it's like a knock on the door. And if you open the door, that's when all the bad shit starts to happen. That is you voluntarily allowing whatever spirit into your home. So, yeah, hopefully y'all think of it like that. But anyways, that's all I had to say. Um, I don't like any of them, honestly. I don't like Kai Sanat or Speed, and I think they're both trash people. And I think this is all just funny and it's sad and embarrassing but anything for a check right they definitely sold their souls uh, most celebrities have sold their souls okay think about it celebrities always talk about how they would do anything anything i mean would you do anything for money would you do anything for fame comment down below um but yeah i'm sorry this was not a celebrity tarot reading but i just really wanted to inform the masses on this bullshit and the things that they are constantly trying to feed our consciousness and these things are affecting us whether you acknowledge it or not whether you know it or not subconsciously or consciously these things are affecting us and that is why i cl completely cleared out my playlist i don't watch none of these low vibrational shows anymore i'm truly trying to elevate okay and y'all look at my clip isn't my hair so cute I did my hair, y'all, so y'all don't have to see me in a hat no more, okay, okay, eh. okay, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and comment down below some more topics y'all want me to talk about, if y'all want me to go into depth, and yeah, see you on the next one.